Hi everyone! Hello! And welcome to a new showtime. Uh, as always, we hope you are in a good mood, and if not, we will try to fix that for a few minutes at least. Yeah. So, dudes, showtime number three is about oh. our favorites of uh, March 2021. So also, thank you for uh, listening to this podcast, and you can write us on Instagram with the um, WhatsApp dude pod, uh, so we can know what you think of it, uh, what you want to hear, or just to talk. Yeah, do not hesitate to, yeah. Um, to yeah, text us. <laughs> <laughs> Low energy today. <laughs> yeah. So today we have uh, three parts. Uh, the first one is YouTube. So, Alex, like the YouTube lady. Yeah. yeah what is yeah. your recommendation for this month? So, comparing to the other months, I don't have a specific person, mm -hmm. but it's, it is a channel with m many people. Mm -hmm. And the channel is called Begin Again, and it's basically a show where people are going busking so it is a korean show and before covid they used to go to other countries to to busk i think that is the verb yeah but this year they stayed in korea and the thing that is great with that is you have many art art artists yeah artists <laughs> and sometimes you for example you have a a jazz artist who is going to do a cover of a pop song so mm -hmm. it is always interesting to see how another genre is going to sound in another genre if you yeah. get what i mean yeah so and also sometimes when you get the notification because i i really like this channel you don't expect to see someone so for example we had a a korean rapper called crush and i was not prepared to see him on that channel because you know Sometimes it is not rappers that are on it, so it was it was a great surprise. And those people also they show another part of them. Sometimes they are more sensitive, so that's that is always a pleasure to to get a notification from this channel every day. So please go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Begin again. So what is yours, Leslie? Uh, so I didn't watch a lot of YouTube videos because you're doing it for me and also because this month uh, I'm feeling like kind of bored of what I'm watching, what I, uh, I used to watch on YouTube. Uh, but because I love music and we will talk about that later in this episode, yeah. I did have uh, found the YouTube channel of Ali Salot. I'm sorry if... It's not that, but we will put you the link in the description. Um, so basically, she is a young woman with an incredible voice. Uh, oh. She realizes covers and like, I promise you, you have to listen to them because she has so much control of her voice and I just like her and you know, it's a cover. So it's like three or four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And when we are recording this uh she has like 300 subscribers no let me say 300k yeah 300 thousand yeah, yeah. uh subscribers but honestly she's the type of artist who deserves so much more i i've never heard of her so i will check it out yeah. <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> missing some words sorry it is it's not that early, but anyway, no, uh, no, yeah. What so it? going on on music, on uh, movies, sorry, movies, series, and documentaries. I will let Leslie start because we all know that um, she she does that every every day, watching <laughs> documentaries, getting informed on informations or other things. Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, so first of all, uh, Alex said like just a movie series documentaries part. And I know what you're thinking, like, why is this not the Netflix part? Yeah, because uh, usually it's Netflix. So. Yeah, you know, I'm a Netflix lady. Uh, <laughs> and I need to admit that my recommendation for this month is not on Netflix. 
sadly, but on Apple TV. Oh my um, god, Apple sorry. TV. Yeah, I'm sorry if you don't have Apple TV, but I think um, you have a free trial of seven days. I don't Just, know. I don't have Apple TV. I, I think, I think, okay. whatever. <laughs> um, I would highly encourage you to watch Billie Eilish documentary. Of course. <laughs> and Alex is smiling because I talked about it th since uh, I watched it, actually. Also, before um, that. Yeah. When you watch the trailers. Yeah. Uh, so the documentary is named The Words A Little Blurry, which came out on the 26th of February. And well, I know if you don't like Billy or if you don't really know her, I think you still can watch it because we can see her as a human who is living an unique experience. You know, she's really, really young. Um, and basically we are put in Billy's shoes for three years and so we can realize how she grew up and still do in this like oppressive environment mm -hmm. uh, the fame basically. yeah I have something to say about that after okay uh, <laughs> and I really like this type of music documentary mm -hmm. uh, where you, you don't follow the artist you know, during uh, a worldwide tour, show after show, but where you can really see the human being behind the artist. And so you can realize um, the, yeah, the human, how she grew up as a human yeah. being and not also as an artist. Well, I, I think it's kind of linked, but. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Mm. So it's not, for example, like the Shawn Mendes documentary yeah but kind of because i know that the sean mendes documentary it was a concert basically we mm. follow him through his worldwide shows mm. but at the same times we did have um a glimpse of his human life so yeah and also billy i think she's the type of person everyone sometimes can relate to her yeah because she she does not hide like the bad moments she embraced mm. them actually she sings but she yeah mm. she sings about it so that's kind of cool and also this morning i was listening to um emma chamberlain chamberlain i don't know how to say her name emma chamberlain a podcast um about celebrity culture and how it can be really tough so yeah i think it is kind of linked to what you said yeah and also i know that some people are like yeah but billy can choose whatever she wants to share in this documentary because obviously it's her documentary you know so she does she does whatever yeah. she wants <laughs> but she posted a youtube video where uh she explains a lot of things about this documentary and how um this film was was uh, produced and she precised that she didn't remove the parts she didn't want to show to the point of showing her showing her vulnerability yeah. uh, at certain point. Um, so I remember a sentence in, in this documentary uh, where people ask her like, why are you writing so sad song? You know, oh, so much sad songs. Yeah. yeah. And she just responded, I'm writing about something I know. I, I'm not going to write happy song if I'm not happy. Mm. And, you know, that that's what you talked about. Yeah, uh, see, we can really relate yeah. as a human to to her. Mm. Yeah, she's she's cool. Yeah, so go check it out. And I think, yeah, you have a free trial on Apple TV. <laughs> she's doing like the promotion of Apple TV. She's like, Actually, okay, so you have a seven days trial. So go check it out, please. Actually, I think like um, Apple TV, the um, subscribers of Apple TV has uh, increased like... Because of the Billy's yeah. documentary. Yeah, because, it, you know, it's Billy. Yeah, yeah. So marketing be like yeah <laughs> so have you watched something that impacts you this month alex uh, i think you guys know that i don't watch a lot of movies or series because <laughs> i spend most of my time on youtube or on spotify so anyway mm. but but 
this month I did finish a K drama. So yeah. I think it deserves a, a round of applause because usually I take one month for yeah. 16 episodes, which is really long, you know, for me. But I did watch what we called Love Alarm 2, season yeah. 2. It is a K drama about an app where you can know if a person within 10, 10 meters loves you or not so yeah but um i did not enjoy the season two i'm not gonna lie oh. yeah <laughs> i know it is about favorite um i will talk about that later but i did not enjoy the season two because i feel like we focused like we were too focused on the main character yeah and not on the other ones which are also important for the mm. plot so that's why I did not like the season two, but the season one was actually pretty good because it is the beginning. You get mm -hmm. to know the show, you get to know how the, the app work works. Sorry. And, um, what I remember and what I want to, uh, you guys remember of this show is that you need to, um, how, how can I say that? Like you need to not embrace, but be aware of your emotion mm -hmm. and do not base them on technic technological apps or devices. Mm -hmm. Because in this series, what we, we targeted is how tech technology, yeah, technology can be really harmful to your feelings and also to your everyday life, because this show is basically starting in high school and then we can see them grow up grow up in their adult life so that's that's why i remember of this this theory okay so you were totally in a um, korean mood this month was i not yeah, really you, you well you recommend like a youtube channel oh yeah um, yeah 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 korean, and a yeah. k-drama so yes yeah, so i was i was in asia guys this month <laughs> so yeah Okay, and well, last word. Um, Unfortunately, but, yeah, but this month was, uh, you know, college and all the stuff. Yeah, this month when, was not. I don't know. It was good, but uh, you know, didn't yeah. feel anything great, incredible. Fun. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just a normal month. Well, watch Billy Eilish documentary <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> so last one <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I have to um, so music Alex music of yeah music something. of course I have something and like the usual it has been really tough to sorry wait so this month I went to South America uh, because of the music, you know, I did travel. So it was tough to choose a one artist, but mm -hmm. the one that I want to talk about and share is Camilo, uh, who is a Colombian artist. He did release an album. I don't remember the name. <laughs> it would be in the description. And what I like about this artist is that you can feel the joy and happiness through his songs. Even if they are sad songs, Yeah, it is always, something cheerful always something joyful i really like his music and if i had to do a top three of my favorite song in the album it would be rolex um millionaires me i am not gonna do in a spanish accent because i'm not in the mood and then <laughs> <laughs> chill okay. chill ropa cara because I can't say that in English, of course. Um, so these are my favorite songs of, songs of the album. And I highly recommend you also to check the featuring. So we have his wife, Eva Luna, and we also have uh, Maui Riki. It would be in the description if you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, and they are all part of the same family because, okay, I'm going to you know, chat about his life a little bit, but mm -hmm. he's married to Eva Luna and Mao and Ricky are the brothers of Eva Luna. So it is a family, you know, family thing. And I really enjoy those artists. So go check Camilo and the other one. What about and his US? album? 
His album is called uh, Miss Manus. Miss Manus, yeah. Anyway, just wanna add this. Thank you for searching it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Leslie? Um, so for me, I would say obviously all Billy's songs, you know? She's uh, a Billy's, because, it's Billy's yeah, fan. Yeah, but because also, I don't know if you're like me, but every time I watch a documentary about an, an artist, or an actor or something, mm -hmm. I need to check whatever he, he or His she works. is. In. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and like I have this kind of period where he or she is literally like my friend in my head. Yeah. And yeah. so I watch tons of interviews and stuff like that. Anyway. But more seriously uh, this month, I just have one song, uh, it's called Till Forever Falls Apart by Ashi, Ash, I'm sorry, don't know how to pronounce it, and Phineas, yeah, oh, okay, okay, and Phineas, um, if you know Phineas, it's Billy's brother, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so... The whole family is actually talented. <laughs> Just and, like uh, Camilla's family. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's it's till forever falls apart. And I also, today, um, the weekend has um, like uh, sorry, the album of the weekend came out uh, this morning. It's not a real album. It's more really. Like, uh, yeah, it's more like um uh ep no it's because it's been 10 years i think it's he's it, uh, it's he, like a, a not a cool. rearranged version but um a re-edited a re yeah exactly version yeah i think so and let me check just a sec yeah i'm gonna check that too that it's we can. house of balloons and so basically we already heard many of these songs but uh i think so I maybe not. yeah i think so i hope whatever check it <laughs> out <laughs> okay so that was our third show time yeah hope you did enjoy and we will put as we said all the links in uh the description i don't know it, how it would be presented Maybe in the PDF or something like that, just like we did mm -hmm. for the showtime number two. And also, thank you because we didn't do it for the last showtime. Yeah, and someone someone asked us uh, to do it, so thank you. Yeah, improvement here. So yeah, so we will wrap up the show. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Not gonna lie, it is a Sunday when we are recording. Yeah, uh, I did sleep a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I was really tired yesterday, so yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.